This topic is an introduction to integer subtraction. So remember that an integer is just a whole number that can be either positive or negative. And we start out with 5 minus 9. And the first thing we need to do is identify which numbers are positive and which numbers are negative. Because 4 does not have a sign, we're going to assume that it's positive. And 9 also does not have a sign, so it will also be positive. This right here is our operation. If this was a negative number, the 9 was a negative number, it would have parentheses around it to separate it from our operation. So if we are to draw four positives, and we are to now try to take away, because that's what subtraction is, is taking away. If we were to try to take away nine positives, we couldn't do it because we don't have enough positives. So to solve that problem, what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves nine positives. And I'm going to kind of draw it like a box, almost like it's a gift, a present. And I'm going to put nine positives in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But if I'm going to put nine positives in here, I must also put nine negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason that I must put nine negatives in there is because this box is really full of absolutely nothing. So what I'm starting the problem with is four positives. I'm trying to take away nine. I'm still, if we look at this whole thing right here, I still have four positives because this box is full of nothing. It's just all zero pairs. Now I can go back to my problem and say the four positives take away nine positives. So I'm going to take away these nine positives. I'm just going to X them out. And now you can see that what I have left is some positives and negatives. I'm going to redraw these. So I have one, two, three, four positives and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine negatives. And I've got a zero pair, a zero pair, a zero pair, and a zero pair that are all equal to nothing. So my answer is going to be one, two, three, four, five negatives. Let's look at the next one. We have negative six minus two. I know the six is negative, but the two is positive, And I know that because there's not parentheses surrounding it. So if I draw this out, I have six negatives, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm trying to take away two positives. The problem is I don't have any positives. So just like before, I'm going to give myself two positives. And when I give myself two positives, I need to make sure I also give myself two negatives because this box really should have nothing in it. I'm starting still all in my picture down here with six negatives, and now I'm going to take away two positives. So I'm going to look at my two positives, take them away. And now all together, what I have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negatives. So my answer is negative eight. Let's look at a few more. We have five minus 10, and the five is positive. The 10 is also positive because there are no parentheses around the 10 and there's no negative sign in front of the five. So if I were to draw this out, I have five positives. I'm trying to take away 10 positives, but I do not have 10 positives to take away. I'm just gonna write this in here. I'm gonna say I have 10 positives and 10 negatives. Now I'm ready to take away the 10 positives. And what I'm left with is 10 negatives in the box. So altogether, I really have five positives plus 10 negatives. This becomes my new problem. And when we're combining opposite signs, we're actually going to have some canceling out going on. So we're really going to take our 10 negatives, get rid of all the positives, and we're left with five negatives. And hopefully you can see a pattern developing here that when I am subtracting a number, I'm really what I'm doing is I'm adding the opposite of that number. This was a positive 10. This is a negative 10. And the reason we're always adding the opposite of that number is because we're taking away that original number. And when we give ourselves a, a zero pair, the opposite is what's going to be left. So let's look at another one here. We have negative 6 minus 5. And the five is positive. So we're gonna draw six negatives, three, four, five, six. We're gonna take away five positives. I don't have five positives, so I'm gonna give myself five positives and five negatives. And now I can take away the five positives. So now altogether, what I have is six negatives plus five more negatives. And that just equals 11 negatives. Once again, you can see that what we did is when we're subtracting a number, we're really just adding the opposite of the number that we were subtracting. Two more examples. 
So we have 2 minus 6. These are both positives. If I draw two positives and then try to take away six positives, I don't have them. So I'm going to give myself six positives and six negatives, take away the six positives. And what I have left is two positives plus six negatives. Definitely some canceling out going on. I have more negatives than positives, so six minus two is four negatives. And again, subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. One last example, negative 1 minus 1. I have 1 negative. I'm trying to take away 1 positive because this is a positive. The only problem is I don't have 1 positive to take away, so I'm going to give myself 1 positive and 1 negative. I probably could have just drawn that without the numbers. And now I'm going to take away that 1 positive, and now it looks like what I have left is a negative and another negative, which is 2 negatives. What we really just did here is negative 1 plus another negative one, which of course is negative two.